Radio buttons allow you to see all of the multiple choice options at a glance. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this video, I'll show you how to display a multiple choice field as a set of radio buttons. This technique is great if you're creating a quiz, survey, or other selection type form that you want your users to get through quickly. For this example, I've created a new table for surveys. Let's take a look at the survey. This survey consists of fields for name and date, followed by a series of multiple choice fields for things like gender, age. Each of these dropdowns contains a number of different menu options. Notice when I select the age menu. Here it allows me to add a new choice. Keep note of that once we turn this into a radio button. You'll notice that each time I click into these, in order to choose an option, I'll have to click a second time. This can slow things down. So let's see what we can do with radio buttons. To access the option for radio buttons, we'll go in to customize the form. In the form customization options, I can click on the field that has a multiple choice option. And now you can see I've got an option to display choices as radio buttons. Let me go ahead and click that and update it for each of our choices. I'll save the changes. And now in my form, you can see that each of the dropdowns have turned into radio button selections. Now radio buttons only allow for one choice and the beginning default would be none of the above. You'll notice that my age field no longer has the option to add another choice. This will always be the case when using radio buttons. It's a one click option in order to make my selections as opposed to before when I had to have two clicks to open the menu and then choose a selection. This can make filling out forms much faster whether it's a survey or just a record with a multiple choice field. Eliminating clicks will always speed things up. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, leave me a comment and we'll see you next time. If you learned something new, please like this video and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit quickbasejunkie.com.